Hello, my name is Altor and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you actually you can move and copy a sketch. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is to go to my sketch, go to edge sketch, then I can see my sketch. So I'm gonna left drag and then I'm gonna go to move and copy. And now I try to move and nothing happens. And usually this happens because we have a constraint in the corner. So I'm going to just cancel this one. And you can see it usually this constraint. So we can click on the constraint. And delete a continent. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. And let's delete also this horizontal constraint. Right. When that is finished, we should be able to do the same process as before and then go to move, right click and then move and now we can move it. So again, we do left click and then right click and then move. And if we check create copy, we can actually copy it. And you can also use Ctrl C or Ctrl V if you're more into using a shortcut keys. So that's quite nice. I can now uh, copy my sketch. But maybe for some reason I was not, not able to copy the sketch. And it just did not work to delete my constraints. Then I'm going to show you a little bit else, like a trick. So if that happens to you, you can actually go to uh, create and go to rectangle, a rectangle pattern. And this is actually to make like a sketch pattern like this. But I mean, you could actually just take this out and just create the one extra what you would need to get. So like you can see here. So we actually don't need this right now, but um, but yeah. So uh, let's say we want to move and copy it from our one sketch to another sketch. So we would just do like normally. Uh, let's let's now use Control C, and I press Control C, and we would just do finish sketch. We would create another sketch and then we could just we, we could name it new copy and we have it select and then control and control v and now we can actually put it in here so this is how you can actually create and move and copy sketches i honestly hope that this was actually a helpful tutorial and i was not showing you something that was super obvious so i just thank you so much for watching and see you next time